Congratulations on your new MyoCycle. Your road to improving your quality of life begins with getting set up and starting your first session. This video is your overview guide to getting started. This video is not meant to be your only resource. For more detailed information, please refer to your MyoCycle user guide. If you ever need help with your MyoCycle, or if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send a message. We love talking to our customers. For now, let's get started. This is Francois. Francois is a paraplegic. Not all myocyclists are like Francois. Some can walk, some can use a power chair, and some have other abilities and impairments. To begin using the myocycle, approach the bike and center yourself. The myocycle can stimulate the quads, hamstrings, and glute muscles on both your left and right legs. If you have the plus model, you can also stimulate the lower legs either gastrocnemius, your calves, or tibialis anterior, your shins, and the trunk, either the abdominals or the lower back bilaterally. The myocycle has two cables that are identical and all black in color. The cable on the left side of the console is for the channels going to the left side of the body. The cable on the right side of the console is for the channels going to the right side of the body. There are two electrodes for each muscle group. For details on electrode placement, refer to the graphic in the user guide. The glute and trunk electrodes may be placed before your feet are secured to the pedals. Once those electrodes are in place, place your feet in the pedals. This is easier if the pedal straps are open and you use the rotate pedals function. Quadricep, hamstring, and lower leg electrodes can be easier to place once your feet are secured with the help of the pedal rotate function. Once your feet are secure in the pedals, Double check that your chair is centered and that your brakes are locked. Use the rotate pedals feature to ensure that you maintain a slight bend in the knee at all times while cycling. Your knees should never be fully extended during a session. Once you're in position, use the chair attachments to lock your chair in place. The best place to secure the attachments may vary depending on your chair. Now that you're positioned and connected, you're ready to cycle. On your first session, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll be prompted to input your patient ID to log in to your device. This is optional, but recommended so that you can track your progress. Once you're logged in, you'll be prompted to enter the length of your legs and to select a spasm level. When choosing a spasm level, most adults use medium, but people with lighter, loose legs can use low, and people with heavier, stiff legs can use high. Your leg measurements are used to customize the stimulation for you. For more details on how to properly take leg measurements, refer to the user guide. If you're using the MyoCycle Plus model, you'll also be asked to select the gait mode. You can choose cycling gait or walking gait depending on your therapy goals. We recommend using cycling gait if you are stimulating your calves and walking gait if you are stimulating your shins. Once you're ready to start your session, Press start to begin the two minute warm up. Relax and let the motor pedal for you and verify that the muscles you have connected light up on the screen. When the warm up ends, the workout begins. During a workout, you have complete control over the stimulation. There are two screens that you can toggle between during the workout, the channel select screen and the power display screen. On the channel select screen, you can select or deselect the individual channels to set which ones you want to adjust. As you increase or decrease the stimulation intensity with the up and down arrows, it will affect all the channels that are currently selected. In this way, you can change the stimulation intensity for all the channels simultaneously or for just one or a few channels at a time. The stimulation level ranges from 1 to 50. To start, slowly increase the stimulation level and watch how your muscles react. More stimulation means stronger contractions, so use the highest stimulation level that you can. The frequency will also affect the stimulation intensity, but can also affect how the stimulation feels. Some people find lower frequencies more comfortable, while others prefer higher frequencies. The MyoCycle also features a preset function that allows you to save the current stimulation settings by tapping the floppy disk with pen button. Later, if you change the settings and want to revert back, or when you start your next session, you can easily load your presets anytime by tapping the floppy disk with arrow button. 
This will set all the channels to the stimulation settings stored in your presets. When muscles are contracting strongly enough, your power output will start to rise. The goal is to raise your power output as high as possible and keep it there throughout the session. Remember, whether you can pedal on your own or not, try your best to pedal. Every bit of effort counts. Doing this consistently will maximize the benefits you gain from your myocycle. During your workout, you can view the power display to see an array of metrics like power output, symmetry, calories, charge, and distance. This screen also features a real-time power plot to show you how your power output is changing throughout your workout, and even compares it to your previous best. If you have a muscle spasm during your workout, the myocycle will detect the spasm and pause the workout. When you're ready, you can continue your session. Similarly, if any of your electrodes disconnect from the stimulation cable, the myocycle will pause and notify you. The pause button in the lower right corner on both the power display screen and the channel select screen can be used to pause or end the session. The myocycle will pause and display a session summary. Simply press finish to end your session. To dismount from the myocycle, first completely disconnect the stimulation cables from all the electrodes. Remove the electrodes on your quadriceps, hamstrings, and lower legs and return them to their plastic liners. Next, use the rotate pedals feature to bring one pedal close to you and open all the straps. Use the rotate pedals feature again to lower this pedal to the ground where you can easily lift your leg out of the pedal. Repeat this process with the other leg. Remove your chair attachments and hook them onto the handlebars for easy storage. Finally, don't forget to remove your glute and trunk electrodes. Great work! You've completed a myocycle session. At Myelin, our mission is to improve health and human performance by empowering people to move. Thank you for joining us on this mission, and welcome to Team Myelin.